question 14 prove that the equation x square plus 4y square minus z square plus 4xy equal to 0 represent a pair of planes find the angle between them so here um, we have a homogeneous equation of second degree we have a homogeneous equation the form square plus y square plus c z square f z s 2g z x z x plus x y general form form of a homogeneous equation here a is equal to 1 b equal to o b equal to minus 1 f is equal to x comma h is by 2 or 2 we have these variables now um, to prove we have we, we know we should we can take this determinant a b e f f e h A, B, C, F, E. Now it's symmet symmetric. H, F, F. Just remember A, B, C, F, G, H. Equal to 0. We have to show that this is equal to 0. Or the condition that this represent, this general form represent a plane is this is equal to 0. Or uh, a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus b h square is equal to so show this or this is a b c a b c is nothing but 4 uh, minus 4 plus F G H F F and G are zero. So this so A F square F is G is zero minus C H square. So minus minus one to H square. H square is so if you have four, four minus four is equal to so we have this as zero. So this proves that this uh, general equation which is given by x square plus 4y square minus z square plus 4xy is equal to 0 represent a plane therefore equation represents a pair of planes so now uh, to find theta we have tan theta is equal to uh, 2 of f square plus f square plus g square uh, plus h square minus square plus g square plus h square minus b c minus c a minus a b by uh, f sorry a plus b plus c you see comes to 2 
0 g is equal to 0 h equal to 2 so this 2 root of 0 plus 0 plus 4 minus t is minus ca is minus a b a b is so minus 4 cancel we get 2 root 5 by a plus b plus b plus c is 1 plus 4 plus Five by okay. two. We can say theta equal to tan inverse by two root five. So this is our theta. Now we got our angle also. So just remember uh, the reason why we are not taking cos th cos theta is. Uh, there will be term root of l1 square plus m1 square plus n1 square which we cannot find from these values so it will be difficult so that's why we are going for tan theta and theta is equal to and putting theta equal to tan inverse so just remember this is the important part of this question if you forget this formula then you will you you will have to derive it it is not that hard if you refer the previous video you can see how i derived that equation uh, in few steps so these are the steps so if you you can quickly note down uh, write uh, write down this formula and then derive it uh, from there itself and you will get this formula in case if you forget if you learn how this formula came then it will be possible to uh, just find out that formula from uh, by deriving it from this point so yeah this is the solution to question 14 now if someone asks whether we can uh, so since the equation is of the uh, of, of this form let me just sorry let me just since the equation is of the form x square plus 4y square minus z square plus 4xy equal to 0 we can easily split this so if you rearrange we have x square plus 4xy plus 4y square minus z square is equal to so if you if you see this is nothing but x plus 2y square z square so is it this is again a plus a, a square minus b square form so we have x plus 2y plus z and x plus y plus 2y plus z so as you can see these are two e equations of the plane these are two planes so x plus 2y plus so plus is a discrete minus is it so these two represent the pa pa uh, planes and these these are the pair of planes that forms the given equation this is one way to if if this is a easy equation homogeneous equation we can uh, derive this uh, we can split it up and see whether which planes form that uh, product or this homogeneous equation so these are the pair of planes here and we will see other methods also if you if you want to for proceed like this if you are having difficult if you are having difficulty in splitting it up like this you can use another method also i will just show x square plus as he said square plus 4xy equal to 0 so uh, in such questions we can consider this as a quadratic equation in terms of x so we'll just 
do that x square plus 4 x y um, plus we treat every other thing every other plus constants so we have x square plus 4 x y x into 4y we can write x is equal to plus or minus we can use a formula 2b 2b becomes ax square here it is 2ab Y Here B is uh, so minus uh, B B is So here if you see B is is four uh, four y minus four. Here it is B. So this is sixteen y square. Okay. square minus 4ac by 2a now oh, 16y square cancels out and it's minus z square so again it becomes y or minus so sorry 2x is equal to So we have, sorry, is it? So if we take again four is at square, so we get two is at here and slow. So if you take uh, two equations here, we have x minus 2y minus z 0 and x minus 2y plus z equal to 0. Okay, <laughs> I missed the negative sign. So we get both equation basically what I am trying to say is uh, 
this is a quadratic equation you can convert this into a quadratic equation of x treat every other terms as constants and solve it using this general solution for a quadratic equation i think i'm a bit sleepy <laughs> sorry for taking this much time <sighs> okay anyway this is the solution this is the solution to question 14